Good morning guys, welcome to a vlog. It's Thursday morning and uh, Bryce and I are getting ready to head out the house. It's gonna be one of those days where we're running and gunning all day so I figured I'd pull out the camera, do a vlog because this is exactly the type of day that's worth vlogging. We're actually doing something. We're not just you know, laying around in our PJs all day. Kids, spring break is winding down. Sierra had a sleepover last night. Bryce was up late playing video games with his friends. Even though most of his friends don't actually have spring break this week, they all have spring break next week. So it'll be interesting to see what he does next week when his friends are out. What's you girls making? Pancakes. Pancakes? But I forgot to spray it, so now uh -oh. it's stuck. Oh, <laughs> well, the spray's right there. I know. Well, I can't Too spray late now. Next one. The next one. one. So the first order of business today is taking the travel trailer to the shop to get some stuff worked on and fixed. Uh, first and foremost, most importantly, one of our gray tanks are not, uh, it won't close all the way. So it's basically always dripping. I had to put on an extra little cap, end cap there to kind of keep it closed and so it's not dripping all crap on our, in our garage. Um, so we're gonna get that fixed as well as something else inside the, um, inside the trailer. There's a couple things that need to be fixed. Um, and then my goal is to sell this thing. I wanna sell this, I wanna downsize to something um, smaller and a toy hauler. I wanna, I wanna be able to have the back end open up, put the dirt bikes in, make it super easy to load and unload the dirt bikes and the toys and you know any other toys we eventually get down the road. Wink, wink. Um, but also, like I said, something smaller and lighter that's easier for me just to like hook up to my truck and go. Because this thing is so big and heavy and bulky and it's like, I just don't, it's too much of a hassle for me to like hook it up and go, right? It's just, it's so big and, hip and big and heavy and, and it's big, so it's like I can't take it to a lot of places. Like I want to take it to like the desert. I want to go riding and, and, and like, you know, like just for the weekend, like I'm gonna load the trailer up and go. Get the generator, get some food in the fridge, like let's go camping for the day and ride dirt bikes. This is way too big to do that. So I'm hoping that by downsizing and get a toy hauler, I'll actually use it more. So that's the plan, but, but more on that later. All right, we just dropped the trailer off. Right back there, you can kind of see it uh, to get the, to get some stuff worked on it. So that's that. And then I was gonna, I was thinking about like looking at some new trailers, but this place doesn't really have a whole lot. They actually do more like repairs and storage than actual trailer sales. I mean, they have this little island right here, and that's that's about it. And uh, they only have a handful of toy haulers, one brand, one line. So I'm kind of like, pass. I think we're gonna pass. This kid's super excited. Look at him, he's just like, yeah, I can't wait, Dad, let's do it, yeah. But now we're just killing time, waiting for uh, lunch with my dad. We're here at uh, Barnes & Noble at Desert Ridge, just kind of walking around looking at books. He's been reading a lot, and so I'm like, let's go look at some books. So, I don't know why we're in the toy section right now, but we're going to look at books. So walking around here, seeing all the different shops, we just realized this kid needs new shoes for school, like his regular shoes. Getting pretty beat up. Got some paint. What is that? I don't know. What's that white stuff? Is that from, is that from the Eater to Wear It Challenge? Probably. Probably from the Eater to Wear It Challenge. But um, you know, he got, he got his basketball shoes locked in, ready to rock and roll. But he's needs some everyday like PE shoes for school and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna, after lunch, head to another uh, outlet area and look at some shoes, which is always exciting for this kid. All right, lunchtime. We're heading over to Saba's Mediterranean Kitchen. A little, little Greek action. What was the last time we had Greek? No idea. No idea. Let's walk around. Let's walk in the grass. Let's walk in the grass. Jeez. All right, dude. What'd you get for lunch? Um, Chicago Euro. Then. Euro Pita. Euro Pita. Now, is that? I'm looking at that right now. Do you think you've ever had one before? Or is that your first one? I think it's my first one. First one. Is it All right. Like like a taco kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's pita bread, so it's like just like that. But yeah, it tastes like a taco. <laughs> I want the shrimp, lemon shrimp. Got some uh, like pesto, I don't know what that is. I think it's, oh no, it's lemon aioli. And this is called tershi, I think. But it's like pickled vegetables. My pop got lamb shawarma. Shawarma, that's right. Lamb shawarma, with some hot sauce. This is Greek fries, it's feta and oregano and lemon. All right, dude, dig in. What do you think? It's good? Do you taste like the flavor of the meat? Like it's, it's a different kind of flavor, right? And then the tzatziki sauce is that white stuff. Yeah, it's, it's grilled, it's grilled. Yeah. Good? Oh, yeah! <laughs> break it off, break it off. <laughs> 
Just wrapped up lunch with my dad. Good time sitting on the ground. And uh, now we're heading over to Tanger Outlets. Like I said, gonna get this guy some, uh, some school shoes. And uh, so they got a Nike outlet here, Puma. What else is there? Converse? Under Armour. Under Armour, there we go. So we'll look and see what kind of shoes. I figure what size he is. I think he's in man size now, right? Man size? Yeah, man shoes. Let's go that way. You might have been back Yeah, but I think in general. So we came here for she's shopping for rice, but I might have found a I like. <laughs> They're like slip-ons. Yeah, they're slip-ons. Those are actually pretty tight. Size 13s. Which I normally wear like, I think these are 12s. How dirty oh, those are. These are 13s too. Huh, yeah, they're pretty tight. They're slip-ons though, yeah. Love, see, my new favorite, my favorite shoes I wear all the time are my Vans. I've got three pairs of slip-ons, Vans. These are like, more comfortable. They're comfortable? Yeah. They're like really tight. I wonder if you're not supposed to wear socks with them. I have a pair of Vans that I don't wear socks with. Those are like outside shoes. But yeah, those are, they're, they're tight. Like they're really tight on my foot, but they're comfortable. The bottom, I have more padding on the bottom. Yeah, no, no. Too tight? No, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we need okay. like an eight. And sorry, we got eights right here, bud. Yep, here's an eight, try that one. Too tight? Yeah, it sounded like the 13 was tight on me. They so like like I need a bigger size than a 13, but they don't have any high higher than 13s. You do like that? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Too big? Yeah. Probably an eight then? Too small? So you need an eight for sure, huh? Okay, eight and a half was too big, seven and a half is too small? Eight's the sweet spot, all right. These are these or those under ones? These tongues, these tongues like super high. Yeah? Like Do you like it or no? I did. I kind of feel weird though when I like it. Too like, loose? No. Wait, what size? Those are nine. Yeah, but they ran, they ran small. So those are the ones? Yeah. Those are the ones, what are they called? The lunar Charge yeah, Essential. Yeah. And we're going with eight and a half, so we're a little big. Yeah. I like them. Bright yellow. Bright, yeah, bright yellow sold them, that's what he wanted. Even though they'll, they'll be dirty the second time you wear them. And here it is, the new Estrella Dutch Bros Coffee. This thing is beautiful. All the new locations have been really big, giant patios, two drive-throughs, this thing is awesome. And uh, there's our March featured flavors. What are you gonna get, dude? Uh, chocolate Frost. Chocolate Frost. Sounds good. I'm kind of on the fence if I wanna try uh, something new. I'm gonna get my classic. I guess we'll find out here shortly. Oh, I'm so excited. I kinda wish we had more time to chill on the patio though, huh? That yeah. patio was pretty nice. Most Dutch Bros don't have patios, you drive-bys. Mm -hmm. I have a big patio. Maybe, and they, I saw misters too, they got misters. So it'll be, it'll be cool when uh, summertime comes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dad. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Bryce ordered a chocolate frost, but what'd you get? Chocolate milk. <laughs> chocolate milk. I'm sorry, dude. Apparently he didn't hear me right or something. I apologize. But hey, it's still chocolatey good, right? Dutch Bros chocolate milk's like the best. Yeah. They put it in all their coffee drinks. I got chocolate milk too. Mine just has banana and espresso. Mm, and caramel, I think, too. It's a Bob! This goes like, mine's going down, his goes already to the side. All right, we got our Dutch Bros. Now it's time for some haircuts. Wrap up this whole long day we've been out about. We've been, we've been running since about 9 a.m. this morning, and it's about almost five o'clock now, so. Haircuts, then basketball. Bryce and I are finally back home, and not just to like grab bag and leave, because that's basically what we did. We've gotten the house, 
Bryce grabbed his basketball bag, made his water bottle, and we left. Um, but yeah, haircuts. I'm just keeping the hair long for now. I'm gonna kind of pull it back though instead of doing the slide comb over. Just hair doesn't grow the way, way it's supposed to, so I'm kind of gonna go with this stuff. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what Tiffany says. I don't know. Bryce's hair is a little messy because obviously he just got back from basketball skills, but same thing. Got the line going, keeping it long. Likes the long hair. We're gonna, we're gonna rock the long hair for a little bit. Real quick, here's a close up of Bryce's new shoes. Uh, like I said, these aren't basketball shoes. These are kind of like gonna be his everyday like school shoes. Um, the ones he was rocking, just getting old and dirty and uh, obviously small because his feet have grown. So there you go. There's his new shoes for school. Um, but there you go. I hope, hope you like that vlog. I love vlogging like this, guys. When we actually have things to vlog, when we leave the house, when we, when we have things going on, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a vlog like this. We just don't do this every day. We don't leave the house. I literally don't leave the house sometimes. Like there's days where I just don't leave the house. So therefore the vlogs are just So those are the days you're gonna get food challenges and, and basketball shootouts and other things. So when summertime comes, the vlogs should increase. You should be getting more vlogs because we should be doing more stuff with the kids out of school. But no promises. So thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Vlog on. Vlog on.